Okay, so I'm pretty surprised that I've not made a tutorial about this yet, but I'm definitely going to be changing that. So um, if you guys want to know how to do a sort of highlight effect, like you would do in Unity, like you would uh, see an object and you would highlight your mouse over it and it will give you like information or like an interact thing to interact with it and if you sort of stop highlighting it then you know the highlight thing will go. I'm going to teach you how to do that in Unreal Engine because there's not many tutorials out there that do it or there's not really any good. Well, there's only one tutorial out there that does it but I'm going to hopefully do it a little better I guess. So we have this scene, and recently I've done this scene for the whole look at event thing, but uh, if we go over to this object and look at it, we've got this interaction piece of text coming up, and if we go away from it, it disappears, and go back over to it, and then look off, it goes away, and you know, stuff like that. So how do we do this? Let's go ahead and go into our first person character and let's go ahead and go over to here now it's a lot of uh programming but it it will make sense so first of all uh, of course you want to event begin play and then create your uh widget highlight widget which is that interaction text that you saw and we need to do an event tick. This is the only way to do it. You cannot do this without an event tick. And like some people will say, or most people would say that if you do an event tick a lot, then it will decrease the performance. But it won't have a huge amount of uh, impact on your performances. So it's fine using a event tick. So here we have an event tick and we're creating a line trace by channel and what that is, it's like a ray cast in Unity. So we get the first person camera and we get the location of the first person camera and we get the forward vector so you know the camera going forward, the, what the camera sees right in front of it and we're timesing, the, well we're multiplying how many units in front of the camera there are and we are adding that to the location, so uh, whatever is in front of our camera, uh, there's a ray going from our camera to the object in front of our camera, and that's going to be the line trace, of course. Now, uh, let's get the break hit result, and that's the only way to get the hit result of whatever our line trace ray cast is getting. So firstly, let's put a branch in here, so of course a branch is an if statement, and uh, if it is hitting something, like literally anything, then let's put another if statement here. And if it's implementing the interface, now what the interface is, it is the um, highlight interface. So let's just go into it. So this highlight interface is just a message. So uh, you hit an object, if it has this specific interface, then that interface will, I guess, signal something. But you must make sure that once you have the interface created, that you go into your class settings and whatever you want your interface to signal, you must add it to your class, or otherwise the interface won't work properly. So here we have interface and uh, if you have multiple interfaces, then just type your interface name and then add it here and then compile or save and easy as that. So does the object implement the interface? Oh yeah, before I continue on, you also must make sure that the object that you're trying to interact with also has the interface. So here we have the uh, blueprint of the random object, so let's just go into it. And let's go into the class settings and we have the highlight interface here. So yeah, again, you must make sure that the connection between you and the object has the same interface or otherwise the line trace will not work. So yes, the uh, does the um, object have the interface within it? And if it does, then let's do another branch. And if the current widget is already in the viewport, then... Uh, then, wait, hang on. Yeah, if the widget is, okay, I got a little bit confused there, but now I get it. So if the interface 
is there, but the widget is not already in the viewport, then add it to the viewport. But if the widget is already in the viewport, then remove it. And you must make sure that uh, this branch here is also connected to this branch down here within the falls because uh, if you disconnect that, I'll show you what happens. So let's just go over to the object and now let's go backwards. So yeah, the interaction thing is still there because I removed that specific node. So if I go back over to the object and I uh, go off of it, then yeah, the it's still there and it's still there. But it does go, but it's it's very strange how it does that. So you need to make sure that node is there. So let's just go ahead and reconnect that node into there. So just to recap, we use an event tick, make a line trace, and then get the world location and forward vector of the camera and then times it by however units you want and then add it to your location and add it to your line trace by channel. Get the break hit result and then if it hit an actor then does the actor implement the interface? If it does then uh, create the branch and if it's true then create another branch. If it's in the viewport then remove it from the parent. If it's not already in the viewport then add it to the viewport and that's all you really need to do for this highlight interaction. It's not really interaction, it's just a mass highlighting over an object sort of thing. And that's, yeah, all you really need to do is just a simple tutorial like that. So uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope this all helped you out. And I had this. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And I shall see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.